Hey everybody, the Bang is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Mario's Time Machine for the Super Nintendo. And of course, this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. If you saw in the last part, I retrieved the apple and brought it back to Sir Isaac Newton. So we're going to take the shield, which would seem a lot more menacing than a fucking apple. And, oh, Orleans, 1429. That's in France, by the way, not Louisiana. The idea that a mere 17-year-old could inspire hardened soldiers to... Hard on... <laughs> To win battle after battle during France and English's Hundred Years War is amazing. It's also very amazing that France can actually participate in a war and not run away after two hours. That blank up arc, which of course is Joan of Arc, was an illiterate 15th century farm girl makes it only more astounding. I thought everyone in France was illiterate. Eh, just kidding. Driven to change her world by visions and voices of three saints, Joan led French troops against the book. Yeah, look, I'm gonna say that. It's the English in an effort to expel them from her country. Armed with the sword of Mona Lisa? No, Mona Lisa wasn't even around at that time. You just gotta think about what makes the most sense. Not Queen Elizabeth the First. That's not even close. It's Saint Catherine, and clad in custom-made armor, Joan led an army of. What was it 4,000 men? To a decisive victory, lifting the siege of the city of... City of Asia, yeah, who's gonna say that? Or the city of Europe. That's a family feud kind of thing you hear. Like, Africa is a big country, yeah! It's Orleans, of course. Jones soldiers routed the enemy repeatedly and eventually took back enough land to allow the... Dauphin to be crowned king... Charles VII of France in the Cathedral of Reims. Before the Maid of Orleans could complete her task, however, she fell into the hands of the English. Tried and convicted of possession of marijuana, I mean heresy, so we're here. Joan, still true to her purpose, was martyred in 1431, burned at the stake no less. Later cleared of the charges, Joan of Arc was made a saint by the Catholic Church in 1920. Which goes to show you that even Catholics have hearts after all. And like some people think, and I think I just went the wrong way. I mean, it's just too bad that this is not in alphabetical order or anything. It would have made a lot more sense. And a lot less annoying. 1429, right? Because, I mean, if you get a year wrong or a time period wrong, you gotta start over. Like, you gotta set the time back, and then you gotta the surf thing again. Why couldn't this be like Chrono Trigger? You just walk into a gate and then bam, you're back in time. I don't recall them ever having to do any surfing in Mo 7 and going to grab mushrooms that can disappear on their own. Not to mention run across mines that could very well be invisible for all I care. That was close. Unfortunately, I missed the mushroom too. And there we go. Perfect, now we're in Orleans. Wow, talk about a gory scene right there. Anyway, let's go in the green cabin, or the green tent. Friend, can you tell me what battle this is? Wait, this is Orleans, mon ami. You are attempting to storm the fortification of Tourelles. Who are you trying to take it from? We are striving to end the Siege of Orleans my, by the English, of course. Looks like you have a tough battle ahead. Yeah, no shit, look at the corpses by the bridge. Perhaps, but we know victory will soon be ours. <laughs> victory! You're French, you don't even have a word for it. Haven't you heard of the Simpsons? How could you know that? Wait, we were led by the Maid Joan, petite ami. With her leading us, we will not lose this fight. When we take Orleans, the Dauphin shall be crowned king and the English driven away. You want to crown a dolphin king? Not a dolphin, the dolphin! That is what we call the heir to the throne. When he is crowned, he will become Charles VII, our leader. Though many say Charles is led by Joan. She sounds pretty impressive. Yeah, she is like an avenging angel, monsieur. The sight of her leading the troops inspires the men greatly. Do you know where I can find her? I would tell you more, but with all the fighting, I am behind in my work. I need to fix a bit of the the Duke of Alencon's horse. I can't find it. 
Oh, I guess I'll have to find it for you then. Excuse me, sir. Are you on command here? I may command there are swords, but Joan jo commands their hearts. Is Joan really going to battle? We. Oui. She rides at the head of the troops. You should see the men rally around her standard. So she's a warrior, eh? No shit. She has never taken part in the actual clash of arms, yet she knows much about the art of war. She's a natural leader of men and fearless when facing the enemy. Does Joan wear armor like a knight? They made for her a special suit of armor, much smaller than for a man, with no crest on it. And of course, she carries the sword of St. Catherine. Is that a special sword? Ah, oui. A small miracle that. Joan told the priest where to find it at St. Catherine de Firbois, a village she never visited, and find it they did. How did she know it was there? The voices told her. She says these things come to her through the voices of three saints. Just between you, me, and the tent flap, I believe her. She's very pious and filled with faith. It sounds as if you like Joan a lot. I have grown quite fond of her, like a sister. When I saw her struck by that arrow today, it pained me greatly. Yikes! You mean she was hit? Have no fear, mon ami. She was merely knocked to the ground. She arose quickly and pulled out the shaft herself. The men took her away from the battle to heal. Let's get this shield to her. Can you help? Hmm, as a Duke of Alencon, a note signed by me would give you safe passage around the camp to look for her. But alas, I have no quill to write with. Oh, great, now I gotta get a quill for you, so I can get a bit from you and then bring the bit to that guy. Pardon me, do you know what's going on? Foolish men are being led by witchcraft and heresy, I fear. What? It looks like a battle to me. This is merely a skirmish. The real battle is for who controls Charles. Is Charles the king? Not yet, but it looks like he soon will be, thanks to Joan. Each victory she wins brings Charles closer to being crowned king of France at Reims. So, what's wrong with that? You must understand, Joan is doing what Charles' many advisors and knights could not. Their power and influence is reduced with each victory she wins. They are very nervous. What's got to do with witchcraft? What? That's obvious! Her claims of hearing the voices of saints is heresy, I tell you. Heresy! A mere shepherd girl of 17 could not lead 4,000 men into a battle without the help of magic. Maybe she's just an extraordinary girl at 17. Bah! A woman cannot lead men. What could you know of such things? Here, make yourself useful. Take this quill pen to the Duke of Alencon. I think that Joan is going to change your mind. Never. A woman has no place on the field of battle. Now be gone, impotent gnome. Fuck you, then. Here, here's a quill pen. Merveilleux! My quill for the scribe. You shall give your letter. Have your letter. Also, take this bit from my horse. Give it to the stable master. You will know the whereabouts of Joan's horse. Thanks, Duke. You can count on Mario. Merci, Count Mario. I have all chance to you. Okay, here's the bit right here. Ah, oh, bon. You found the bit for the Duke's horse. Merci, little friend. Any idea where John is? I saw the hoof prints of our favorite horse heading up the hill towards that meadow. Look for her there. Bon chance. Well, I actually knew where it was, but like I said, I want to complete every level, unfortunately. Sorry to disturb you, but what battle is this? Forgive me, I am still weak. During the battle, I lost my buckler and was struck by an arrow. Yeah, I think you'll be needing this, Maid Joan. Ah, you have found my shield! Now I can lead the army once again! Well, then should not see another day under siege. I give you my thanks, Mon ami Mario. Say, Joan, how'd you guess my name? Let's just say it came to me in a vision, Mario. Woo! Anyways, let's get out of here, because this is starting to creep me out. Anyways, now we got two artifacts retrieved out of 15 in total. That means we got 13 more to go, of course. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, if you want the best ending, try to get each artifact from the three floors in the same order you got in the previous one. What I like to do is go here, 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 here. That way you won't get confused. You get an order mixed up, you get the bad ending, and well, I'll explain the endings later. But I'm going to stop the video right here. In the next part, we're going to grab the third artifact, which looks like a blank book. See ya, everyone.